Hello, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new to my channel. I am Shelly, and I'm a full-term reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some items that I picked up at the Goodwill outlet um, or the Goodwill bins. Um, and I, similar to my last bins haul, I went a little bit later in the day um, just because I wanted to get some inventory um, and I just needed stuff to list. So I figured I would just go check out the bins that were already out and hopefully find some stuff. And I did find a few things. I only ended up finding seven pounds. Um, so not a ton of stuff, but I'm still happy with the thing things that I did find. Um, and then also the location I go to is $2 a pound. So, and it doesn't matter like how many pounds you get. It's always just $2 a pound. So I only spent $14 on all of this stuff. And then um, like usual, I did pop into the attached um, traditional retail Goodwill um, in the same building. And I think I found three things in there, maybe four, three or four things in there. So also show you those once I show you everything that I got on the um, pay by the pound side. So let's get into it. And I have not done anything with this stuff yet. I'm going to be photographing it today and then probably washing it. Um, so yeah, I've not done anything with it yet. So it's still just in this bag. Okay. This first piece is intimately free people. And this I just grabbed, it's really lightweight. So I don't know, maybe even this I could, um, take to a buy, sell, trade or something, but it has like lace on both the hem and the sleeves. Um, it's size extra small. Actually, I didn't look. I think it is a little bit of a newer piece based on the interior tag, but I grabbed that. And then next I grabbed this tank top and it's the brand um, Florite. It's a size medium and this is an anthropology brand. And this is just a little tank top. This I am going to make sure I wash with um, some white stuff and there's not really, I want to say there's like a ton of stains or anything, but there's just a little bit of discoloration under the armpits. So I am just going to spray that with the grandma's, um, stain remover spray that usually gets it out for me. So yeah, just a cute little ruched tank top. Again, something that's really lightweight and then this, um, I might take to the buy, sell trade. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe I'll try to sell myself. It's Sincerely Jewels, which I know I see this a lot at um, like Marshalls and TJ Maxx. So this might be an item that I just take to buy, sell trade. I think I'm going to do that soon. And I will do a video of everything I'm taking and um, what they accept and don't accept and everything. And then this is very wrinkly it needs to be steamed but this is j crew it is factory um but it's size large and it is this linen men's button down and i decided to grab this because it was actually from spring 22 so pretty recent um if if it's at the bins and it's a j crew factory piece as long as it's pretty new i and it's like a decent piece you know i will still grab it even though it's factory and then this little t-shirt. This is just Toting Co, which I've been finding quite a bit of recently. But yeah, just this little simple t-shirt. And this again, I was kind of deciding if I should grab it. But I did look and it's from summer of 2021. So pretty recent again. Even if it sells for like, I don't know, 15 to 25, I'll be happy with that. And then we have this little like semi-formal dress fit and flare style and this is lulu's size small kind of like a strappy back cute dress i like picking up lulu's especially at the bins because those sell pretty decent for me i found two pairs of madewell jeans which i was pretty excited about i really love madewell personally it's like my favorite brand so i kind of always get excited when i find it but here's this pair and this is the classic straight jean in a 27 and these are from 2019 so just a straight leg 
medium kind of blue wash. And then let me see if I can grab, yeah, here's the other pair. Um, this one is a black wash and these are the 10 inch high rise skinny and a 28 petite. And, oh, the actual um, material tag is missing, unfortunately. So I don't know when these are from, but I think they're a little bit newer since they do have like the, um, what does this say? The Fair Trade Certified Factory on there. But yeah, these are just a black wash. So found both of those. And then another Toad & Co piece. And these are the Flex Time Skinny Pant. They're a size eight. They're this kind of like pretty orangey color. So I grabbed those. And let's see, these are from 2018. But I think these will do pretty well still. Toad & Co does pretty well for me. So I do like picking it up. And then I found this. Um, I think it's like an athletic top. It almost kind of feels like swim, but I think it is athletic, just like active wear. Um, and this is Adidas with Stella McCartney and it is this racer back. So I will look this up. I think, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it is athletic wear, but it could be swim. So I will look, but kind of a color block style. And then it has like a rose print. And then a zipper up the back. Oh, and this is a size medium. Um, it does have like a built-in shelf bra. There's no padding in there. But yeah, so I grabbed this. Um, I'm not sure if it will say. Yeah, I don't know. I will have to look if this is a swim top or just a exercise top. And then... I grabbed this sweatshirt and this is from Zaya or Zia, however you say it, active size small and this is super soft so I decided to grab this. I like the color of it too. It's a nice green. It does have the little logo but it is kind of peeling a little bit so I don't know if that can be like tacked down with something but yeah super soft. And it's in good condition. And I just love that green color. And then I picked up this sweatshirt. This is a full zip hoodie. And this is from Pact. Um, Pact Organic is like their website and stuff. Um, but it's 100% super soft organic cotton fair trade factory. This is an extra small. And Pact is a brand I kind of started wearing a few years ago. And I have recently started selling some of my stuff that I just haven't been wearing anymore. Um, and it has sold. So I then started finding some thrifting and would pick it up occasionally. And it does sell pretty well. Um, some of the pieces don't sell for a ton. It just depends on the piece. Anything more substantial is going to sell for a little bit more. Um, but it's like some of their pants, some sweatshirts and stuff will sell for a little bit more. But I grabbed this. Thought that was a fun find at the bins. And then we have this tank top. And this is rag and bone. Um, this is a size small. There is buttons on the back that need to be buttoned, but it's kind of a, like, it has holes in it. I don't know what this is called. It's not Swiss docks. It's like, you know, the holes. But, and there's like the fringe on the side. So kind of just like a distressed tank top. It's almost like a denim, but I don't know, not quite. And then what else? And then I just have one last item that this will be taken to um, Buffalo Exchange. It's just Brandy Melville and it is just like this long sleeve little t-shirt. So that is everything from the um, by the pound area and I will show you the things that I grabbed at the traditional um, Goodwill. So first up I found this pair of black joggers and these are Lululemon and these are a size large and yeah they're just elastic waist jogger 
good condition so grabbed those and then i also found this pair they are similar they're not the exact same i don't think um they're similar though but these are kind of a bluish and the logo is a little different so i'm not sure let me see when these are from they're both from 2020 so they actually have different logos but they're from the same year but this pair is a size small tall which i thought was interesting um that they're such different sizes but grabbed both of those and then i found this brand which is a pretty expensive brand it's joa brown and this is a small medium and this is just a simple little t-shirt but it's super soft still like it's not really pilly or anything which is good and these sell for a good amount i'm not gonna i don't know exactly i have sold a few pieces from that brand before they usually sell like pretty quickly and for a good amount i'm gonna see um so i have sold two long sleeve shirts before one sold for 45 one sold for 31 i think one of the i think the one that sold for 31 had like a hole in it or something um but yeah it sells pretty um well and for a higher amount um even though they're like really basic pieces so i was excited to find that brand haven't found it in a while and then i was excited to find this pair of birdies um this store usually has like no good shoes like all of them are they're just not good brands they're really worn and stuff um i only usually find shoes at the bins side but i found this pair of birdies they were six dollars they do have a little bit of wear just right on the heel that's when the sticker's in the way but just a little bit of wear right on the heel but other than that they're pretty good condition and they are kind of like this velvety um snake skin kind of look um and they're a size nine and a half and yeah grabbed those i will list them a little bit lower just with the um a little bit of where they have but i think they'll still sell um pretty well so yeah that's everything that i picked up thank you for watching hopefully i will have a bigger bins haul soon i am gonna um also go into boston soon like i said go to buffalo exchange and I will thrift around there at some of the regular Goodwills and stuff. Um, so you will be seeing those videos soon-ish um, in the next couple weeks. And yeah, please subscribe if you are not already. And you can also hit the little bell notification next to the subscribe button if you want to be notified whenever I post. I try to post twice a week. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.